Good afternoon, lads, ladies, players, players, real people behind the profile stats. It's very important that I explain to you there's a trap. There is a trap, that's right, there's a trap in the game. There is a big trap in the game, and you need to know, and that is the observatory. And I explain to you why I say it's a trap. Basically, to fund the observatory, you are allowed to fund 50%. Now, the observatory can be funded by two players. And this game, you'll find one of the obstacles, one of the struggles, one of the hardships that you'll face in this game will be the BP the battle points. It's always been an issue, it always will be an issue, and it is an issue. And you'll find that Unique Rebel was right as you go further up past through your journey. And the players that have picked this up earlier already, call them blessed, call them whatever you want, they chose to take on the good word. They chose to bring the betterment from other games into this game so they could make the right choices. They chose. They made choices. We all have choices. We all have voices, some of us choose to use it, some of us choose to just abuse it. And the thing is, I choose to use for those that be worthy of more. It is important for me to explain to you, or you know, those that be worthy, that you have a choice when it comes to the BP battle points. Do not fund 50%. Now you may say, why have you? Oh, you're a hypocrite. But can you see how much BP I got? Can you see the bottom of the screen? What do you see? I got a small loan of a seven million. You understand what I'm saying? What no ones? I got plenty. I go to random guilds to help fund their perks just before the event so that they can. I don't wanna. You know what? When you start to tell people about your good deeds, you lose that goodness within your deed. You understand what I'm saying? So the point is, you need to fund the perk between four players 25 percent each so that you find a, w a way of balancing your losses yeah you find your way of balancing your losses and that's what you need to work towards the way to save bp one of the ways see that's what i'm talking about yeah come on new player yeah look two days in piracy already got the guild ship running you understand what I'm saying? Loving it. That's what I'm saying. If I can help one, two, three, four, five players to just start the guild ship up, yeah? I'll tell you what this is. This is memes. This is where I met Mindy, right? That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here at this guild right now. Because this is a guild where I met my friend called Mindy. No one knows who Mindy is. No one even cares, probably. Mindy, your, your memory will always live on. And I'm also at the Fizzy Pop account at Old Canada because Mindy put a heart after the name Old Canada. She loved that guild. And that's why one of my accounts is there. I'm keeping her memory going. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's what I'm working towards. That's what I explained to you yesterday. Tiger Lily, and thank you for your good words, your kindness. I know you're resting. And look, you've, you've never taken or received a, a, a troop. That's because. You just got a fresh, that's a fresh guild ship ready, you understand? So if I can get a few players across the game, just to get the guild ship, because then, then when I give you back, when I give you good, strong troops, and you use those troops, you can win easy battles, and you'll get so much BP battle points. And that's what's going to help you to train up your legendary pirates that you have in your, that you'd have normally in your fort. So remember your fort, yeah, your silo, where that monkey's a silo? Where is it when you're looking for something? There it is. Look, it's even getting upgraded. That's the one. Yeah. So remember, your fort, your silo, and your guild ship, these are three priority upgrades for your long term gameplay, right? That's what you're going to need to work. That's the main ones that you need to work towards. But remember, work towards the four builders. All. And, and it's good that you haven't got rid of your Rocky Outcrawl because some of them do help you. They help. So there's some ideas across Clash of Clans in this game. There's a lot of differences, but very lot of similarities too. 
But this game within itself, it holds different grounds. So anyway, I'm going to give you small, small tips. That's what this video is called. Small, small tips for the new players. For the loyal new players, that's the one. Anyways, I'm wishing you all well, wherever you may be. Keep smiling, keep shining, keep rising your gameplay in German. I keep returning to this channel to see more small tips every day. But more and most importantly, as I guide you through the next two, three weeks between the guild events, you will see the difference in these two guilds. They'll rise, as Mindy's memory will always stay rising and shining, always, wherever she may be. Keep smiling, keep shining, keep rising, my friend Mindy. Always. As we have the gameplay in German, but more, most importantly, in your life, wherever you may be at the moment, in that reality, for the goodness that you left behind with the unique rebel, I will continue the good word and the good work in your memory. That's the one. Yeah, that's the one. Loving it. Love this game for the right reasons. That's what it's all about. Is that what doofed?